All right, Coach, opening thoughts on the game? Uh, I thought it was a good conference game. Uh, I thought we started the game off really well and played with some energy. And as the game wore on, I think, uh, or I thought uh, Western did a nice job of pushing back. And uh, McKay made some huge saves there, especially in the third period. And, um, you know, we, we blocked some key shots and uh, were able to get the W. So you mentioned McKay. Um, when you're, when he doesn't have a lot of, when he's not getting a lot of action on his side, you know, um, you guys outshot Western Michigan 16 to four in the first quarter. Um, how much harder is it for him to come up with those big saves when, and, and just, you know, focus and stay sharp? Well, I think it's tough for a goaltender when he's not seeing a lot of, a lot of shots. Uh, I think if you ask any goaltender, they probably want to see more shots and, get into a rhythm but uh so it's tough it's tough for a goaltender but I thought Ryan handled himself really well and um he sure got some pretty good chances to, uh in the second half of the game and he was he stood up uh real tall and uh did a nice job of uh controlling his rebounds and I thought our D did a nice job of clearing pucks for him and um you know and Western's a good hockey team they're going to come at you and they're going to you know throw pucks to the net and that's exactly what they did tonight. Mm -hmm. And your total shot count was 38. And I, like I mentioned, the first quarter, 16 shots is more than the entire last game you had. Um, so what, what was the difference? What was working today that wasn't working last weekend? Well, I thought last Saturday we played a little bit better. We had more shots than we did Friday, that's for sure. And I think you're referencing last Friday um, where we didn't play well. But, um, you know, we were getting chances tonight. We, we hit some posts. Uh, I thought we hit, I think, three for sure that I know uh, Anthony Lewis, Louis Belpedio in the third period alone. Um, uh, so, you know, we're getting pucks to the net. Uh, we're, we're growing. Uh, our, I continue to, to stress the opportunity to grow every day and uh, mature as a team. And, you know, getting pucks to the net and going hard to the net, that's part of maturing and getting into nasty areas and, and be willing to sacrifice. And, uh, you know, because you're going to get hit when you get to the front of the net. So uh, I thought we did a much better job of that tonight. And last year, I remember talking about this team, you know, despite their record, they're still a threat. Last year, they were mostly uh, freshmen and sophomores, so they're grown up now. But um, so first time you've played them this season, just what is your thoughts overall on this team? Well, I think they have really good talent and they play hard. They're well coached and they got good goaltending. So uh, they're going to, you know, they're going to give themselves a chance to, to be in the game every every night. So uh, there's nobody easy in our conference. You have to play hard and. Um, you've got to block shots. You've got to manage the puck well. You've got to score on your opportunities. And uh, everybody has good goaltending, and, and you really have to prepare well during the week, and you've got to be focused and mentally and physically ready to play every night. So your goal in the second period, uh, three on one, I forget, was it Schmidt or Lewis who set that up? But can you kind of take us through that? Sure, yeah, it was uh, pretty much both of them, uh, uh, Louis Belpedo made a great stretch pass to Anthony uh, down the ice, and he kind of went on a one-on-one, -on -one, span around, gave it to Schmitty, and then he just gave it to me back door. Um, <laughs> and your total shot count tonight, 38, um, coming off of last week when, I don't know if it was Friday or Saturday, coach corrected me, when, when your one game you had 15 shots total, but what was the difference from last weekend to this weekend? Uh, you know, I just think we played a good team game tonight. You know, uh, we try to focus on playing a full 60 minutes, and I think we did that. There's definitely room to improve, but, I mean, great, great uh, rebound from last weekend. Uh, especially after coming on strong in that first, out shooting them 15-4, to four, uh, it seemed like Western found their footing and uh, looked more comfortable getting sustained chances in the offensive zone, your defensive zone. Uh, you guys locked it down defensively. Could you tell me a little bit about the play of uh, Ryan McKay tonight and really the defense in general, getting a lot of those second chances cleared quickly? Yeah. Well, we knew they were going to come out hard in the second period. Uh, that's just what happens uh, when you're playing a team like that. Uh, I think we stuck together. Uh, I think... Again, like you said, Ryan played unbelievable, made some really key saves in the second period and throughout the whole game. But uh, just bearing down and uh, making strong plays in the D zone is important. Uh, especially against conference opponents, finishing out of series at home is, is big and something I know coach focuses on. You know, you take it one game at a time, but once you get to that second game with a win under your belt, it's important to finish them off and get those points. It's the biggest thing you guys are looking at moving forward into tomorrow and the biggest focus for your entire team to grab that win? 
You know, I think we just want to play another full 60 minutes, play a team game like we did tonight. Like I said earlier, there's room to improve, and hopefully we can do that tomorrow, just uh, making hard plays, moving the puck, supporting each other. That'll, that'll help us down the road.